Today I'm making original Chippets chocolate chip cookies and this is a recipe that I found on the back of the Hershey's chocolate chip bag. So here are the ingredients that we need. Two cups of flour, one cup of vegetable shortening, two eggs, one cup of packed brown sugar, a half a cup of white sugar, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, one teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, and two cups of Hershey's chocolate chips. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. All right, first thing that we wanna do is we wanna cream our shortening with our two sugars. So we'll get that going. So I'm gonna pop in that sugar first, the white sugar, and I'll get this going. All right, now I'm going to throw in the brown sugar. There we go. I'm just going to break this up a little bit. There we go. So I'll get, start creaming this. And at this point right now, I'm going to put in one of my eggs. I'll get that in there. That'll help get the brown sugar incorporated. All right. I'm going to add in my second egg now. So I'll pop in our second egg. And away we go. So I'll finish creaming this and I'll be back. Alright, let's pour in our vanilla. Alright, that's done. Alright, our next step is to mix our flour, our salt, and our baking soda. So let's just mix all that together. That's good. Alrighty. And then what we're going to do is we're going to combine this mixture with our wet mixture. So I'm going to start blending that up. Add a little bit more. All right, and now I'm going to pour in all the chocolate chips. And we'll just give that a quick mix around. All righty, so that's it. Everything is well incorporated. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go get my baking sheets and I'm going to clean up my work area and I'll be back. Alright, I'm back and what we need is to preheat our oven to 375 degrees and we're going to be baking our cookies for about 10 to 12 minutes depending on your oven. So I've got myself a little cookie scoop and I'm just going to grab some dough and we'll pop it on there and hopefully it'll come out nice and easily. A little trick. If you have problems popping this out, you can put your dough in the fridge for a while and what will happen is it'll firm up and it'll be easier to scoop out. So let's just get these on here. It's a little bit big. So I'll continue doing this and I'll be back when I'm done. And there we go. So this recipe makes about four dozen cookies depending on how large you make them. So I'm going to pop these in the oven, 375 degrees, for about 12 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes, and I'll be back with the finished product. Well, let's just zoom in a little bit here and show you the product just before it goes into the oven. Alright, I'm going to pop these in the oven and I'll be back. Alrighty, woohoo! There are my cookies, and they have been 
in exactly 12 minutes at 375 degrees. I'm on batch number three right now. Where am I here? There we go. All right. Let me just zoom out a little bit. So what I've done is I've done three, this is going to be my third batch. I did the first batch for 12 minutes. Now I'm going to be doing this one for 10. I did another one at 11. I'm just going to see how the, chewy, the chewiness is in all three different batches. But anyway, so that there is the third batch and I'm going to pop that one in now. Alrighty, well I just decided to put all the cookies out and show you the difference in them. These were the ones that I did for 12 minutes, these were 11 minutes, and both of these were at 10 minutes. And that is all of the cookies that the batch made, so you can see how many cookies there are. There are a lot of cookies, so that recipe makes quite a few. Anyway, these here are much more crisp than the ones at the 10 minute mark. So if you want really gooey ones, you'll go 10. These are also gooey, these are 10, and these are 11 minutes, so they're in between. So if you want really crispy, go with the 12. These are the 10, and they're really gooey. You know, they're, some of them are, you know, you can see they're a little bit more flexible, and anyway, some kids like them like that, some kids like them a little bit more crisp. But there you go. So that's it for this video, so I'll see you next time.